think we're better at the eight, yeah. <laughs> I am here at New Balance Nationals with our boys 800 meter champion, 147.61, Kenoda Matata. What the heck just happened out there? Unbelievable, from the gun, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling great, honestly. Uh, coming into the, uh, I'm definitely gonna be feeling better than I did on Wednesday, because Wednesday, I, I, was going, I was going into the race saying, and I, I, I'm not, I know I'm not gonna get out fast, because I was battling like like a, a tiny injury on my on my hamstring going in, so I was like, so Brooks, I, I was like, I don't know. I, was, I feel like it's, I feel like it was gonna be like a like a mid race today. I came in with a with a much be, with a much different mindset. I said, whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna try and do what I do and didn't just go to the front, and then from there I'll just, I'll really just like see what happens. I was gonna say, so you you did what you did. You went right to the front. You attacked it. You went through 51 high, which is is fast. Like, Have you been you there before? Here. No, 51, 51 high. high. No, never. Never? Not, not, not in a race. So what's like, are you, like, do you, are you aware that you went through that? Like, what are you thinking when you see that? When I, when I, when I saw that, that was, that was, that was a goal when I, when I, when I, when I, when I was coming in. I wanted to go out in either 51 high or 52 low. And fortunately, I did go on 51 high. I think the first 200 definitely helped me go out that fast. And I think I, I heard I came through in like 23. So I was like, oh, well, that, well, that was just, I was moving, so. I saw 53. I was like, I, I was like, I was like, perfect, really. Yeah. One of the first heats they came out and ran 149. Did you see that? And was that part of the reason why you said I got to make this fast? I don't, yeah, honestly, yeah. I saw that. I was like, I was like, man. I now, now, now we can't even we can't think of, of even being like being like tactical. So I knew I knew we had to just push out. So everyone everyone ran under under 148 or something. So. Uh, that it, although although I did go I did go into this race saying I do want to run fast the the 149 in the first seat definitely helped. Yeah, and not only like I know you saw, it, but it was a pretty cool moment. Like I saw before you're getting ready for your race, and you still came over and you like you congratulated the kid yeah, who just man, ran 149. Was, like what is that like track and field? Like it's a pretty cool camaraderie, and especially I feel like right now in high school track, like what does that mean to you? I'm like I don't know. It's like he he went for he he told me his PR coming was 153. And then he ran 149. I did the same thing last summer, so 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 like man, it's it's it's, it's good to know people. People are, are still getting fast and stuff, you know. So we haven't spoken since you broke four minutes. Congratulations! Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the you. club. You know, yeah. of course, of course. Um, high schoolers breaking four minutes. You know, I feel like indoors you were just testing out the mile. You know, like you're now sub four guy. Do you like the eight or the mile better right now? Oof. I'm, I'm I'm more of a miler at at heart since. I, I did it like I did it for most of my high school career, but I think I'm more, I think definitely more of an of, a, of an eight runner. So I have sure. this race here. I want to bring it up, go through it a little bit. When we're standing on the starting line, are you like I'm going? Honestly, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I know how to take it out. So almost immediately, you're establishing dominance. Yeah, I saw someone on my side, like right about there. So 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 I was like I was like yeah I, I know I know I have to go in front of him so that so that, so I'm not too far behind. I didn't know where the 200 was so so I was like over here is where I heard 23. I was like oh man. So uh, but I was like when you hear 23 are you like oh man like are you like this is gonna be fast or are you like uh oh like we're in, we're gonna be deep waters like time to hunker down. I knew I, I knew it was gonna be fast. Okay. Because everyone 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 wanted a fast pace at, at the beginning. I also wanted a fast pace. So I was giving everyone what they what they what they uh, wanted. I just want to point out that this is a veteran move right here. Your ability to sit on the outside of lane one, you are difficult to pass. There's yeah. not enough room on the inside. These guys are all in lane two. Do you think about that, or is that just like instinct? I think now it just happens naturally, cause cause I, I did try doing that in a few of my races, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like last year, but then, but then now, now every time that every time that that, that, that I watch myself run, I, I see myself on the on the edge of lane one, and everyone's trying to get like around me. I know I did the same thing during 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 indoor as well. So I was like, okay. I mean, he tried to make a pass and try to make a pass. You held him off because he had to go so wide. Yeah. You did not want to give up that lead. Not at all. Because I, 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 I definitely felt myself slowing coming onto the coming onto the 400. I was like, because I um. Uh, Cause I came through in 23, so I was like, I don't want to go out too fast, and then I die in the last like 150, 100. And I just wanted to notice too, like you're running probably the most efficient, the smoothest race out of anyone, cause you're you're in lane one, you don't like, and you're controlling the race. You don't have to make moves to try to either hold guys off or 
to pass a guy because you're just running your race and everyone's keying off of you, which, in my opinion, from what I've learned, is the best way to run an 800. Like, Honestly, is, that, yeah. is that something you've worked on or something that's always been kind of natural for the way you run? Uh, so, uh, during, like, when, when I first started, I definitely, like, like, wasn't natural. I think I only started front running, like, 2022 last year is when I started front running. I like, every, every race, but, like, I, I've never led an 800. Like, I remember, I remember, like, the first seasons that I ran 800s, it was... It was like it was it was like dual meets and stuff. So of course I led because I was faster than everyone in like like locally. But then as soon as we got to like to like championship season, I was uh, someone was someone else was always leading because because I, I didn't know how to how to run an eight. But then last year I still didn't know how to how to run an eight. So 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 in season I always ran 157, 156, 156, 156, and then and then I, I was I was leading those races. So so and I was like I didn't really know how I didn't know how to like run it. But um. But like this year, this year I've definitely taken like like a step forward in my in my in my front running tactics. I know in the 800 now I have to go out hard. I learned that last year during 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 AAU because someone went out in like 26 and I've never gone out in 26 and an eight. So I was like, okay, I guess I guess this is, this is how you're supposed to run. Then I ran 153 my first AAU race, and then everything after that I just always led from I always led from the front because I liked to to control the pace when it started out fast. Well, you're doing it. I mean, right here, that's Andrew, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Andrew's trying to come up again right before the curve. You just have to do a very gentle push to hold them off. Yeah. Who are you watching? Like, this is David Rudisha Ask who's your man? Like, you've you've been studying film oh, in order to learn I, stuff I, like this. I watch his I watch his I watch his races every single week, honestly. I think I, I think I think over over the past few days I've watched his I've watched his world record at least like twenty different times. What about that NCAA championship? I was gonna say I mean, that was Will Sumner vibes right yeah, there. Yeah, you're, no. you're headed out to Georgetown next year. Yeah, you're watching Will Sumner run 144 at NCAA's. That's your competition now. You, yeah. You're you're a nationals champion in high school. Now you got to do NCAA. What do you think about making that jump next year? Just like those guys have. I'm, I'm honestly excited because because seeing how Will Sumner ran 146 last year and now he's having a like. Huge success in the, in the NCAA, winning. He he won SECs, he won he won SECs indoor, he won he won um he won um the he won the prelims in 146 flat, with, which was the smoothest 146 I've seen, and then he just he just dropped to 144. So honestly, I'm looking I'm uh, I'm looking I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to college so I can so I can also make like a big drop in my in my in my uh, race times. So now I'm gonna put you on the spot here. We have 100 meters left in the race. You're the announcer. I want you to do third person calling the race. You know, this is your TV <laughs> broadcast debut. See if you have some potential. Okay. You got right, this? Bet. I'll try, but All right. so I can be the best. Matsata, Regnier. Hilby is that? Matsata's coming down the home stretch. Drew on the outside. Is that who who is that? Someone else, someone in third coming coming up on Drew. Matsata coming to the line. Matsata, he's coming. He finishes. Matsata takes the win. Drew in second. Someone else in third. There we go. Is that good? There it is. <laughs> we'll get you all the names next time you do it. Right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love the celebration right after with the tape and everything. Thank you. Thank that was you. one of the I will say I was right I it got me excited. Like I sprinted, I was sprinting over, I was watching celebration. It was one of the like that was uh, some of the most energy I've seen in this place this weekend. Like you electrified the crowd, so Honestly, I yeah, hope you know that. Thank you. Two-time New Balance Nationals champion at this point. I'm glad. Is yeah. that it for the high school career? We're all done finally. I have two more races. I have one more meet, but 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 two more races sometime in July. Where are we going? Yeah. Oregon for U20s. Awesome. Well, nice. Sonoda, congratulations. Always a pleasure. Of course. So fun watching you race. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to racing against you next year, too. Yeah, I, I know, Gary. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> What's your personal best? My personal best? 147. 147. Point. Seven something. So. Oh, I'm a little faster than Gary. Got me oh, beat by a little go. bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Won't bring up that I got both of you guys back. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys.